guys. I know it's been like forever that I've been on here and I'm sorry, I apologize. It's been like two months. I really didn't mean it to go that long, but I kind of wanted to get new equipment so I could have better quality videos. I got a new camera. I got that like before I even started, but I was looking, I was looking to get like lights and just like set it up really nice and I haven't really been able to. So I've just been like procrastinating, kind of being like, okay, when I get lights and stuff. I'm gonna jump back into it and then the next thing I know it was like two months later and I was like oh shit I haven't posted anything in like two months what so I'm back and I thought this would be a nice little um, comeback video what am I trying to say yeah comeback video cuz I haven't really done one of these it's my first like tag on YouTube type of thing so I thought I would do the 50 facts about me um, I will let you know though I don't think I reached 50 because that was just like way too much and I just ran out of things to say so it might be like 40 something or 30 I don't know so let's jump right into it my name has been chopped screwed changed said in all different ways by everybody I've probably ever met since I got to America so my first fact is gonna be how to say my name my name is well, okay, there's two ways that I accept, okay? The first one is the original one, the Spanish one, the one my parents gave me, which is Manuela, right? But sometimes people just can't, right? So I've kind of Americanized it a little bit just to help people say it in a way that I don't feel disrespected and they can feel comfortable. So you can either say Manuela or Manuela, which is technically the same thing, but Manuela is more like Manuela. <laughs> I'm from Colombia originally. I was born there in Bogota. That's where my whole family's from. That's where they all are pretty much. I lived in Ecuador for about 10 years. If you don't know where Ecuador is, whip up your map, but pretty much it's like next to Colombia or under it, I think. And then I moved to the United States when I was 12 to Houston and I lived there for nine years. Then I lived in New Orleans for one year and now I live in New York. <laughs> I just yeah i know cultured i like to call it i used to play competitive tennis i i started playing tennis when i was like six years old up until my last year in college which was my which was my junior year um yeah so i play nationals i've been a national champ all the shebang shebang my favorite color changes with my mood that's just how i am just a moody mother but the constants are usually white and black. Those are usually the ones that are always my favorite and then I just like flip in a random color depending on how I'm feeling. I am married. Oh, he liked this, oh, he put a ring on it. <laughs> I've been married for six months, almost six months. We got married on Halloween. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> we normally have a big ceremony. We just had like our clothes, family, and it was really cute and yeah. One day we'll have ceremony, but when we can have like a big shebang, shebang. I have a production company called Dynasty 2259. And what we do is pretty much produce anything you can think of from videos, photo shoots. We're trying to get into short films and um, yeah, just a lot. Websites, whatever you need, we can help you out. <laughs> I'm going to put our website right here so you can go check it out. Yes. I do have a, a clothing collection. It's called the Queen Collection. I started this, I launched it last summer and I'm working on the new collection that I'm gonna launch for this summer. <sighs> That's been crazy, but the reason I take so long to release is because I really want to be proud of what I put out and I wanna make sure that I love it and that I would wear it every day. So that's why it takes so long, you know? I'm not a professionally trained makeup artist. I would call myself a makeup enthusiast that practices <laughs> because I do do some freelance work and mainly because people asked me to. The main reason why I was a little bit hesitant to start doing freelance is because I have a lot of friends who are actually trained makeup artists who've been doing it for like ever. So I kind of felt like I was like, all right, am I going to be the chick who just like jumped in the bandwagon and starts to, you know, squeeze the lemons and make lemonade? So at first I was a little hesitant, but then I was like, mm, yeah, I am going to be that chick because I'm out here and people are asking to pay me to do this, so I ain't going to say no. I love sweets. Sweets are my freaking kryptonite. Like, I just love sweets, which is probably why I'm not ready for a bikini, but mm, sorry. <laughs> I started my YouTube because... I have no friends. <laughs> Just kidding. Because 
almost on a daily basis somebody asks me about my makeup or my hair or something or you know I, I just was getting constant feedback from people like wanting to know how I do certain things so I was like you know what let me just make a YouTube put it out there so people can watch it on their own time so I don't have to keep repeating myself so it can be easy and yeah I love to talk I'm not um, embarrassed to be in front of a camera so I just thought it would be the perfect fit I have an associate's degree but I don't have a bachelor's and the reason is because I did not complete my bachelor's I actually dropped out I'm not ashamed of it um, I'm not like proud of it I'm not like yeah but it was it just wasn't for me and I felt like I was wasting my money and there was a lot of circumstances but I do have my associates I'm not saying you should quit school or just like not finish or you know because you totally should having a bachelor's and not having one is definitely better but you know to each down I don't really regret it <laughs> my pet peeve is not sleeping with sheets in the bed okay this may sound really weird so let me break it down to you you know how you have the sheet that covers the mattress the one the tight one okay that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about the sheet that goes over it that what the way I was brought up is you put that sheet then you put the cover on top or the blanket or whatever and you sleep with the sheet in between you and the cover or the blanket okay my husband he just can sleep however with whatever just the rolling cover on just I don't know for some reason that just irks me so much like I just feel like the sheet is there so that your cover doesn't get dirty or sweaty or you know because sometimes the covers that have like feathers in them you can't really wash them and then in the how much a dishwasher <laughs> in the washer so I feel like it just, uh, it just we still like we don't really argue but that's something that we just like are like bumping heads on because it's just different I mean we were brought up different but I just can't stand it <laughs> one day I am gonna skydive I haven't done it yet I've done the slingshot thing and that was freaking scary but I'm sure skydiving will be worse but I want to do it so bad I'm afraid of being chased and I hate deep water this sounds weird actually the water one no because I've heard a bunch of people have the same one but being chased I, I can't stand it like I just it gives me anxiety and then the fact that you have to like keep looking back and just like feel it feels like they're like on you I just I just hate it so if you see me don't chase me because I'll just, I'll just I won't run I'm just dead I'll just dead you in the neck and you just die okay and deep water will die like if it's like deep where I can't see what's down there no because I believe the lock in the Loch Ness monsters so I'm not I'm not fucking with it I was a late bloomer you can ask anybody who knew me in high school and middle school <sighs> do not ask me for a picture of me between the ages of 10 and 15 because it was rough <laughs> not physically because I had boobs since I was like in fourth grade but just like girl I just I didn't get it together till like 10th grade mm. I'm obsessed with change I love changing I love constantly uh, changing scenery changing fr not friends but like associates just changing scenes I love to change my style I just love to change I mean we up and moved from Houston to like the other side of the freaking United States so <laughs> I definitely like change <laughs> I would love to have a conversation with Pharrell Williams and Karuchi Train Pharrell Williams because he's a freaking genius and it's a plus that he's sexy as hell <laughs> But I would just really like to learn from him and like absorb the information and Karuchi because I just feel like she's really misunderstood And I just want to get to know her. I want to you know understand Within the next five years I see myself designing my collection full-time supporting my husband on stages around the world and Sharing with you guys. I just really want to you know just keep sharing with you guys talking to you guys if you guys like me and would like that <laughs> okay this next one is like really embarrassing but my first crush ever was Amarion. <laughs> yeah I was tiger beating hard I learned how to speak English by watching Lizzie McGuire and Full House honestly me and my sister used to watch that religiously all day every day because at school I did not talk until I was able to speak you can ask anybody I just didn't talk I just was kind of soaking everything up and then I would get home and watch my shows and just get it together you know and then 
finally when I could do it, I started talking and made friends and you know, now we're here. <laughs> Shout out to Lizzie McGuire and Danny Tanner, you know, they held it down. I have a severe case of chronic bitch face. And this is not like a joke, this is serious. Um, I can get, not, I don't, not like distracted really easily, but when I am looking at something and I'm really interested or trying to figure something out, I will stare. And my, the way my face is set up <laughs> and the way my eyebrows are set up, it just comes off as like the death glare or like, damn bitch, what you looking at? But I really don't mean anything by it. That's just my face. And people have told me all the time that I just look mean as hell, like not approachable, you know, all that jazz. But I'm just like, me? What? So yeah, if I look bitchy and you want to talk to me, just talk to me. I'm not being bitchy. That's just my face. I really want to go to Canada. Two of my best friends are from Canada and the way they just describe it seems just like this amazing faraway land and just anything Canadian just seems awesome. I really want to go to Vancouver and Toronto and Ottawa and all those places they talk about. I just really want to go there. I don't know. It's just so intriguing, you know? Like, I don't know. I just love it. It's like Celine Dion, Justin Bieber. How can you go wrong? You know? Canada. If I could have anybody in the world serenade me for my birthday, other than my husband, it would be Usher. Oh my god, I would die. Usher's voice is like velvet, and I would just piss my pants, so yeah. If you know Usher, tell him October 8th is my birthday. <laughs> I love to cook. I, If I say so myself, I think I'm a very good cook. My husband doesn't complain, and I just love to cook. I love watching the Food Network. I just love, love, like... I know Garden is that bitch. I'm obsessed with watching the Kardashians. I know that's so cliche and it's just like, why? But uh, I just can't get enough of them. They're just so fabulous. And the way they just came up and like ate the world and just like, uh, yes, yes. Houston, Texas is my home. I know I've been, I've lived everywhere pretty much, but I, that's really the city that raised me. So when somebody asks me where I'm from, I usually say Houston because, you know, H-Town, baby. <laughs> if I could pick any superpower, I would pick flying. I had a really tough time between flying and being invisible, but then I realized if I could fly, I could just zoom my way out of whatever situation, and then boop, you can't see me. <laughs> I hate washing dishes. I hate washing dishes. I absolutely hate bugs. Like, oh my god, they freak me out. I just, I can't. That's one of those where you're just like, I can't. I wish Fear Factor was still around because I, when I was growing up, I really wanted to do it even though I would not eat whatever was under that plate. I would, I just wanted to be in Fear Factor really bad. I hate when people think I'm lying, but I'm actually telling the truth. Ugh, that's such a pet peeve. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll tell some white lies now and then, usually to spare people's feelings or because I don't feel like getting into it with somebody. But when I'm actually telling you the truth and you think I'm being a liar, that irks me. Like that's the worst thing in the world. It like makes me want to like punch you in the face. I hate when people underestimate me. You know, like give me a chance. I'll probably impress you. You know, and we can probably work together and make some amazing shit. So don't underestimate me. And that's that. <laughs> I love inspire. This one goes kind of hand in hand with the other one. I love inspiring people, and I do my best at seeing the good in everybody. That sometimes is a downfall, but you know, everybody deserves, deserves a fair chance. And just like I want a fair chance, I give it to people, and I love. You know make people feel good because if you make people feel good then they'll make somebody else feel good and then it's just like love everywhere gotcha got it yeah yeah i forgive but i definitely don't forget like if you screw me over i will forgive you but mm, don't talk to me or i'll mean mug the shit out of you and no don't talk to me <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry that's just how i am okay i think asians have the most swag out of everybody promise like their level of flyness is just at another level of, like, it's out of this world. I don't know, you know? Like, you just go look him up. Like, look up Nigo. He, like, created Bape. Just, ugh, the whole movement in Asia is just so far over our heads. Like, if you're single, go find you a fly-ass Asian man. Because he'll put you on game. And you'll be the flyest bitch around. I'm telling you. I can be a huge procrastinator. Ugh, I hate this about me, but it's just real. I just the couch and TV just look so good sometimes. That's definitely a flaw of mine, but hmm. I think weed should be legalized. I have my own reasons. We can definitely get into it if you wanna, but I just think it would be it should be legal. And you know, Uncle Sam would make so much more money. But 
I really, really, really love the beach. I just could be there all the time. I am very positive and I think I'm hilarious. I don't know, my husband doesn't think so, but I think so. <laughs> and I hate girls that fight. I hate girl fighting. I hate a, a fight between girls. I just, that's just, no, like don't do it. I just hate it. I've never been in one. I frown upon them. Don't do it, boo. Walk away. So that's everything. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you learned something about me that you didn't know. Um, I have a lot of cute things coming up for you guys. I have some really good ideas on some videos that you're gonna like. And oh my god, my fun bun is way too fun right now. Okay, so I hope you guys liked it. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe to my crazy ass, and thanks. Peace.